What's up, everyone? This is your boy here, the FKG401 here, coming at you guys with another video. But before I get into the bacon, eggs, and sausage of the video, I want you guys to subscribe to this channel. Of course, turn on all notifications when I do a video, whether it is a topic discussion that I'm going to be talking about today or a breaking news story when it comes to one of my teams. We're definitely going to get into a uh, topic here right now. And... This is not Yankees related, but there's a big story that I want to talk about in baseball. I mean, no, it's not this whole Francisco Lindor or Chris Bryant possibly going to the New York Mets, but it's about this fired Angels employee who is now ratting out big names. And when I talk about big names, I'm talking about Garrett Cole, I'm talking about Justin Verlander. And Max Serger. What is this guy saying? That they illegally used pine tar while on the bump. Big fucking whoop de you. Okay? The fact of the matter is, this sort of thing has been going on in baseball for decades. Pitchers have been using... A special kind of pine tar that can help increase their spin rate and control. And it suspected a large majority of big game pitchers that do this. And it's just been accepted as a part of the game. Now, this guy that I'm talking about here, uh, Brian Bubba Hawkins, uh, talked about this yesterday. Uh, because he was creating these illegal substances for visiting pitchers. Now, this dude wasn't canned for creating these substances, mind you. He was fired because he was helping teams playing the Angels. Now, there was a text message between Hawkins and Garrett Cole. Now, this was when Garrett Cole was with the Houston Astros. Now, this is what Garrett Cole put in this text, and I quote, Hey Bubba, it's Garrett Cole. I was wondering if you could help me out with this uh, sticky situation. And then he adds a wink emoji. We don't see you until May, but we have some road games in April that are in cold weather places. The stuff I had last year seizes up when it gets cold. Now, I will say it like this. The bigger crime here is that Garrett Cole texts like this. Garrett Cole, man, I love you, man. But you can't be sending guys winky emojis and texts as corny as this. Got to clean it up, man. That's all I got to say on that. But, yeah. Everyone is pretending to freak out because Garrett Cole used Pine Tar in 2019. Call me shop. Verlander, Scherzer, King Felix, and other big name pitchers were also named as pitchers that Bubba helped out during his time with the Angels. And it's bizarre he was blatant, blatantly helping. The other team, despite working for the Los Angeles Angels for almost four decades. So much for loyalty, huh? Because Bubba was trying to get that money. Anyways, this should be a total non-story. And I'm not just saying it as a New York Yankees fan. But people are going to see Garrett, Garrett Cole's name. And then they're going to eat it up. But virtually, every pitcher does this to an extent. Only when you blatantly have the pine tar or whatever it is dripping off your neck or arm, does it get brought up mid-game and lead to an ejection? It's one of baseball's unwritten rules to just let it go for the most part. Hitters actually prefer you to do this 
So you have the most control possible when you're throwing a 100 mile per hour fastball. The absolute last thing a guy wants at the plate is a flamethrower with zero idea where the ball is going. Also, if Rob Manfred is going to just blatantly juice baseballs for ratings, then pitchers 100% get to get away with the shit. The annoying thing here is baseball's refusal to legalize pine tar or do something about it. They just kind of let it go and turn a blind eye. Why not just be open about it and let everyone do it if they are already doing it? And Trevor Bauer, you know, he's brought up pine tar and sticky substances used in various tweets over the last few years. And I'm going to give you a little bit of an exhibit here, people. This is what Trevor Bauer said on May 1st, 2018. And I quote, if only there was just a really quick way to increase spin rate. Like, what if you could trade for a player knowing that you could bump his spin rate a couple of hundred RPMs overnight? Imagine the steals you could get on the trade market if only that existed. What is Trevor Bauer talking about here? He wanted to do whatever he could to increase his spin rate legally. As opposed to what other people were doing, uh, strongly implying Cole when he left Pittsburgh. He concluded it was impossible to make a sizable jump in RPMs without illegally doing so. In 2018, Trevor Bauer basically did a trial run for one inning and noticed an insane spike in his spin rate. After the game, he was asked about it and basically implied that he tried out a substance as he referenced an article about it. Funny enough that in 2020, Bauer's spin rate rose to the highest in the league. Because if you look at his spin rate, it was an abnormal 400 RPMs while not having a crazy jump in miles per hour. See the video out there, people. And there's also an interesting uh, fan graph article that Ben Clements wrote that suspects that Bauer of joining in on the sticky stuff movement. You might need to take some Adderall to understand everything in there, but the case is made. Add this with Bauer's numbers this past season, and it's worth considering. Could baseball's social media king and 2020's National League Cy Young winner have magically cranked the spin rate mystery all on his own? I wouldn't put it past him, but odds are he just joined the rest of baseball, and that's totally okay. It's the norm. I would suspect a large majority of the league, and I'm talking about hitters and pitchers, are on board with this. If not, everyone. Just fucking legalize pine tar, and let's move on from this debate. And oh yeah. For all you fucking haters out there that want to fucking attack me now and saying, oh, Garrett Cole should be suspended for this, or Max Serger should be suspended for this. Don't expect it to happen. It's just baseball's worst kept secret becoming full public knowledge. Let's move on, people. Nothing to see here. Until then, I am out. Peace.